tell me the origin of this uh, business. Uh, well, I'll take you back to, uh, I guess it would be two, 2000. I worked my way through college at a travel guide. I was, I was writing, I was making maps. Uh, eventually I was doing editing and finally got them to send me to uh, a place I wanted to go, which was India. So I did a little bit of research uh, for the guidebook. I did a little bit of journalism while I was there. I wound up teaching uh, at a school where they were training kids who had no computer skills how to do graphic design, which was my specialty. And uh, wound up writing a curriculum. I, um, you know, I went back to do it again, started a business. So I was in India uh, in total almost 12 years before I met Meghna. Uh, and uh, my, girlfriend. my girlfriend, that's right. And uh, she and I just started cooking together, cooking for friends. You know, some of them would joke, you guys should start a restaurant. And uh, by, uh, you know, complete coincidence, just serendipity, we wound up uh, getting an offer. Uh, we were at a place the, the owners wanted to sell in, 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 in India. We, uh, we were in Goa, which is a, it's a beautiful seaside holiday destination. Uh, we, we're, it's, it's between the two most beautiful beaches in India. For my money, and uh, they, the the owners, the, the the then owners wanted to sell, and we said we couldn't pass it up. We couldn't we couldn't say no to an offer like that. So and we. What kind of restaurant? It is uh, well. First of all, it's al fresco. It's fully outdoors. Oh. You know, there's a little bit of a shed for the kitchen, but everything else is uh, you know it's you're enjoying this sort of beautiful natural you surroundings. It's we uh, we lease the property, but we uh, you know we own all the equipment. It's all wrapped up right now because it's monsoon. Uh, in in India, and we uh, we just make sure everything is covered and uh, and safe from the rains. Uh, then by October, things will have dried up enough for us to get in there and start up again. And so, how'd you start this truck? Well, we realized, you know, once we started that business, we had six months to kill. Now we could go back to Bombay uh -huh. and uh, you know take up our old jobs uh, and somehow find a. I mean, really, the challenge there is real estate. It's a, it's such a difficult real estate market that if you if you don't have a uh, you know, apartment that you know that you can rent, then finding a place, it just was so much of a headache. We said we need to figure something else out. And we thought, uh, okay, why not Detroit? It's, uh, you know, it, it had been on my mind for a long time that I wanted to come back sooner or later, spend time with my folks. Where, where'd you grow up? I grew up in Southfield. Okay. And so, you know, my parents were getting older. Uh, they, they were both retired by that point. And, uh, you know, I just said, okay, it would be great to start something with them and my mom had always wanted to start a food business that, that it had always been her interest uh, you know she'd been working in food she had uh, taken the culinary course at OCC uh, where she was also teaching and and so there was uh, you know this this long-standing interest in the back of our minds but then how to realize that you know when I was in India we realized that in uh, in six months we could do something that wasn't a, a permanent brick and mortar establishment right. but we could do something that was mobile that we could you know put away during the winter and since the food truck thing was just really taking off uh and we we realized there were niches there was there were spots to fill in detroit that really people had never really tried to do uh fusion food with indian flavors and so we were really we thought we could do something experimental and fun introduce people to the kinds of ingredients and flavors this that we love. Year you've been doing, this is you. our this is our second full season. Second full we uh, we were uh, we were starting up at the uh, sort of the end of the summer in 2015. Uh -huh. uh, it takes a long time to get a truck started up. I have to say that uh, I was I was When did you finally get it going? We got it going end of July beginning of August in 20, 2015, right? 15, 16, no. 2016. 16, 2016. Okay. That's right. And uh, you know, how'd, how'd you think? I mean, you, the, it's it's a combination of Jewish and, and Indian. Yeah. Well, how did you? I, you know, as much as I love Indian food, I don't consider myself uh, an expert uh -huh. at, at cooking Indian food. Uh, Magna, my girlfriend, is she's she's very talented, but then her exposure is you know pretty limited to Indian foods her family they're kind of Anglophiles and they right. they like casseroles and you know stuff like that so then uh, we uh, we thought how can we how can we use formats here she is here she is this is Meghna uh, and uh, yeah we're a little exhausted from our shift right now and, and sweaty and it's a good thing it's not there's no uh, you know electronic nose <laughs> on this camera but then 
uh, we uh, we thought, okay, let's let's try to find a way to make the the flavors, the ingredients that we love, accessible to a wide audience. And you know, we thought, uh, you know, could it, what what kind of format would be interesting? And as soon as we came up with the pun New Delhi, it was obvious that we had to do deli sandwiches, uh -huh. and that we had to find some way to 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 twist them, uh -huh. you know, to get those what's Indian ingredients. What's your reaction, Mitch? It's been uh, overwhelming, I would yeah. say.